Alright guys, so today I'm doing this well wanted, it's like an aesthetic and it's also a useful thing especially when I do plan on actually tracking my car. It is installing a fire extinguisher. Now the way, I'm going to show you how I mounted it, I'm mounting it onto my roll bars and they're uh, I would say inch and a half thick. I'm not, don't, don't uh, hold me on that, but they're about that size. Um, so I went, I went ahead and bought one of these metal bracket, oh, fuck off, one of these metal bracket held in whatever you want to call it, fire extinguishers. So what this is, is it, sorry, it makes it so that when you're in the car, it doesn't just flop around. It has this whole mounting hardware here. And then all you do to release it is just pop that open and pull it out. Okay, so this is what we're using to mount it onto my roll bars. So I'm going to put this aside for now. Just keep these here. Now, I went ahead and purchased these. They were about $2 each. So I'll say how to do it for $5. Okay, at max, it won't be $5. Well, it might be around there. But this is how I installed it. And this is how I'm going to show you how to do it. Okay, so just unscrew these. All right. And then he, as you can see, it's not wide enough for it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just drill a little hole here and here for the mounting and then I'm going to drill another one at the bottom and then that's how I'm going to mount it so I'll show you the process of that I'm just going to grab a drill bit and a drill and I'll alright so what you want to do is you want to grab a drill bit that's the appropriate size as the post with the threads and then you're going to go and grab your mounting bracket uh, let's call it and you're going to go ahead and drill a hole for each one now make sure you measure up how you want it so it's done right all right guys so now that that's done uh, so you can see it'll fit in here pretty pretty decently uh, it's not the prettiest job I will eventually go on and clean it over I have to end up taking the the roll cage out of the Miata and put it in the new Miata so no matter what I'm gonna have to mess around with it so yeah so what you probably gonna want to do is you probably want to grab something like rubbery or something to put in the back along your roll bar, just so you don't like mess it up, like scratch it like completely crazily. So I won't because my roll bar is pretty messed up already, so it's fine. But uh, if you want, you can always paint these a different color, do whatever you want with them. But yeah, so that's how I made my my brackets. If you if you don't quite understand how they go on. Um, just like this, and then you grab your two bolts, and you just tighten the bolts on, which will then tighten everything else, and uh, hopefully it doesn't get in the way of the fire extinguisher, which it probably will because that's my luck. But yeah, we'll uh, we'll go. Alright, guys, as you can see, I had to do little modifications to the uh, brackets. Uh, just all I did was uh, just grind it down the ends a little so they didn't stick out as much but I'm hoping that's gonna be enough to clear alright guys so after you you know grind down some of the threads what you want to do is you want to go in your car now I'm putting it on my roll bar right along here so wherever you're mounting it if you're mounting it to your roll bar this is probably the one of the better ways of doing it um, you can zip tie it. You can do the, um, the warm clamp, worm clamps. I think they're called that, that are basically on this, the same thing as your intakes are, as your air intakes. Those kind of clamps. Okay, so first you're gonna want to do either the top or bottom. That doesn't really matter. But you want to make sure you get it in nice and tight. So just mount everything up. Make sure everything's good and straight. Put bolts on. Uh, don't tighten one side until you have both the nuts on. Uh, it's going to be hard at first because of the grinding. 
So be patient, don't strip the threads. You will get it, it will, it will go in. And if not, you can always just grab a file and file it down or sand it down. But yep, yeah, so there's the bottom. I'm gonna just lightly tighten those up. Not too tight. Hopefully you guys can see it. I'm trying the best at uh, recording. All right, so there's that. So I'm just gonna hand tighten them pretty tight for now. Okay, and then what you wanna do is make sure you test fit it so that you know that your nuts and everything aren't too long. And obviously that's really easy. So just grab the clip and bam. So there you go, it's on. Put, out, put it where you want it. It's about where I want mine. Just like that. And maybe up a little more. Actually, you know what? I think it's good because I don't want it interfering with my hard top. I want a little bit, not all the way down, but a little bit over like that just for aesthetics. And I'm gonna take it off. Now that I know that everything fits properly, I'm gonna go ahead and tighten my nuts and bolts down. Um, make sure you evenly do it. Make sure that it doesn't move at all, especially if you're going through the track. You don't want this coming off and hitting you in the head. Grab this, your extinguisher. Pop back in place. And bam. Now you're ready for your track days. And that's, <laughs> I'm moving the whole car. It's not going anywhere. It's not going up or down, nothing. Um, and it looks really cool and it's really good that it's there. So now if I'm sitting in the car, you know, ripping fucking some dirty drifts, taking some mad corners on the track, fire, pop it down, pop all this crap off, um, read the instructions first, because I don't get it all. I think it just pop. Say, like, this isn't even for track, like, even if you just want to have it in your car, and you don't, you're not modifying your car, you're not doing anything, and you want one of these in your car, there's many more ways to mount it than just this. This is the way I chose to mount it for my build. But on any car, like say, like it doesn't even have to be your car. Say you're driving down the highway. Next thing you know, you see a guy on the side of the road, his hood's on fire. What do you do? You grab your fire extinguisher, you save the guy's car. All right, like, you know, cars aren't cheap. So you could save someone a lot of pain and a lot of misery. There you go. Fire extinguisher. And this is a pretty fucking big fire extinguisher. But uh, yeah, well, alright, thank you guys for watching, uh, stay tuned for more, and I will be taking all the good bits, including this roll cage, and putting it into the new Miata. So thanks for watching guys. Pull up in the bins and I hop out, shawty wanna know what it be. Bitch, I'm not on fire, I'm a city So that's all on me, that's me That's me, that's me, that's me